I'm Nick Peters from Comcore with the video blog, What Were They Thinking? An American Airlines social media staffer took engagement to new heights this past week. A passenger tweeted his anger at a flight delay. The airline responded with a tweeted apology. The passenger then tweeted about the rainbow logo he noticed the airline was using as its Twitter avatar. Quote, what's the deal with the rainbow colored image, unquote, he asked. The airline's tweeter replied, quote, June is Pride Month across the globe and we are proud to support the LGBT community and its allies, unquote. The tweeting passenger turned out to be at Nathan Lorick, director of evangelism for the Southern Baptists of Texas Convention. What was he thinking when he responded, quote, seems like a poor choice from a company that certainly has many customers who do not agree with that lifestyle, unquote. He followed that tweet with the hashtag, quote, disappointed, unquote. Well, whatever Lorick's thoughts, the airline's social media staffer's succinct response has already achieved legendary status as a trending topic in social media. Quote, we're sorry for your disappointment, unquote. Period. End of tweet. No qualifier. No sympathy for the opposing view. No need to use all the available characters. As copies of the back and forth tweets trended higher on social media, with overwhelming kudos, by the way, for the airline stand and criticism of Lorik's response, Lorik suddenly switched access to his Twitter account from public to private. What was American Airlines thinking? We were unable to talk to an airline spokesman, but we imagine that right now they're thinking exactly what media like Boston.com concluded about the airline's brand exposure. Quote, that's some kind of win, unquote. I'm Nick Peters for Comcore. Please follow us on Facebook and Twitter.